Hey guys, Sean here from Smee's Adventures. Today we're going to talk about the arguably the best system console that came out of the uh, late 80s, early 90s, which is the Sega Genesis. Yay! Well, it's actually my favorite system. Um, just loved the games, loved everything about it. Um, this may even be know I'm a casual collector of systems and uh, video games. I do only collect the ones that I want to play. And I don't necessarily collect for rarity, oddity, or anything like that. Condition doesn't really matter to me as long as I can play it. Hey, I'm happy. Um, proof about condition, you know what? It's obvious. When you buy a game like this, you just want to play it. It doesn't matter. Works great. Great game. But the one part that I am very picky about in quality is the console. Uh, these consoles, uh, if you find them online, they're pushing 30 years old plus, and uh, they've had 30 years plus of uh, people uh, working on them, playing on them, uh, tinkering with them, and everything else. So um, I have went through quite a few consoles over the years, uh, the Genesis consoles, uh, they're not as easy to fix as Nintendo. Nintendo, a lot of times, you know, you throw in a new pin connector and you're good. Uh, these Genesis consoles, it's a soldering issue. You can't get rid of... You can't just replace a pin connector because I can't solder. Um, I have soldered in the past, but you know what? It's way beyond my skill level and everything else. So what this video is about is why I think... You should not buy a used Sega Genesis anymore. And instead, you should really go towards the Retron Mega. Uh, or Mega Retron HD. Um, which is the Hyperkin um, Sega Genesis Mega Drive. Um, this is fantastic. Um, the reason why I say go for something like this is much more better than uh, going with the old hardware that you're going to find online, Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, uh, flea shop, uh, flea markets, <laughs> flea shops, yeah, <laughs> gotta get some fleas, <laughs> uh, anyways, um, online here in Canada, they're going for around 60, 70 bucks with one controller and that's it, um, working, they say it's working, this is the last, uh, thrift shop, uh, Sega Genesis that I bought, it worked for a bit. I had to clean it out. I had to tear it all apart because the power button was stuck. And the reset button did not work. It was stuck on. So it took me a long time to ungum everything. And I finally got it to work. But it crapped out in about two months. And honestly, the condition is not good. Like, it's beat. What can I say? Um, then you get in a situation where a friend of mine... Had a Sega Genesis for sale, a bunch of games, many of the games that you see in the back here included with it, great price and everything else. But just standing here doing the video for you guys, my eyes are burning. This thing, I haven't plugged it in to see if it's working, I just had it uh, take it out of the garage. Uh, it stinks like secondhand smoke like you would not believe. A lot of those games back there, uh, my wife and I spent almost three hours wiping them down and cleaning them uh, because of everything, uh, because of the stench of secondhand uh, smoke. You know what? It, it's just nasty. So that's another reason why I think you should skip this, uh, skip buying these. I haven't tried this yet, but it's, it's, it's literally disgusting. Uh, I meant to bring some wipes just to show you. My hands feel dirty just touching it. This is what I can show you, um, the AV cable that I got with uh, with that one. This is how much secondhand smoke was in the guy's house. Like, which one's yellow? They're both yellow. There's two yellows and one red. No, but this is the white one, supposedly the white one. I didn't try it. Um, I was pretty, you know, he gave me a good deal on it. Love the guy for it. Was happy with it. Uh, didn't pay that much money for it for the uh, the games plus the console. 
Uh, he also threw in four controllers, but every single controller is secondhand smoke log, soft buttons. Like that's supposed to be white or gray. It's it's disgusting. So you know what? I was pretty disappointed. I just want to play my Sega Genesis games, right? So after a couple days after buying uh, the stinky guy here, this one dying on me, I just put him in the pile there. Um, I ended up going to a uh, store called Microplay here in Ottawa. Uh, they used to be pretty big around Canada, but I think there's only like maybe two or three Microplays left. And anyways, they had this sitting on the shelf for 60 bucks. Restaurant HD. I have been uh, eyeing this uh, quite a bit uh, over the years. And uh, so anyways, I it was there, 60 bucks. I had 60 bucks plus tax in my pocket. So I picked it up. Uh, pretty quick and you know what it's been fantastic uh, buying this was excellent um, it works flawlessly every single one of my games work on it flawlessly I know the G1 Sega Genesis uh, a lot of the games uh, the later games later released date games don't work on it and uh, uh, this one works with all of the released games also I'm not going to get into the specs because there's plenty of videos on YouTube on the specs and review of this. This is just why I think you should buy it. Um, that little switch down there. You can play North American, Japanese, and European games all on one, cons on one console. So if you're a collector or just a casual uh, uh, player like I am and you just want something to work, I would go with this. You know what, you can even uh, make the uh, uh, case for a uh, Retron NES as well from Hyperkin. Uh, in a way, however, the Nintendo is very easy to fix and for less than 20 bucks you can get a new pin connector, which always seems to be the problem in those. So I would just switch the pin connector, it's a cheaper option than going this way. But uh, these things are brutal to fix uh, for the soldering. I don't have the skills, so I went with this. So, you know what, to modernize your equipment, uh, to play it, you know, go with the Retron Mega HD. It's fantastic. I have nothing but positive things to say. And honestly, um, I use the RetroBit uh, uh, Sega Genesis controller wireless. It works fantastic with the Retron uh, uh, Mega, Mega, Mega HD. And it works uh, great as well. No lag, um, it's perfect. Uh, the games work, well it's brand new, so of course the games work, you put it in, turn it on, they work flawlessly. Whereas uh, my previous uh, thrift store, Sega Genesis, you'd have to wiggle it and everything else. So obviously the pin connector is uh, worn out, but uh, they guarantee also perfect pin technology, I think it's called, that it's going to work all the time, worn out games, everything, and so far it has. And it's fantastic. So this is bringing my eyes. I got to get it out of here. It's horrible. This is just a quick little video uh, to show why I think you should buy the uh, the Mega Ret uh, Mega Retron HD, Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, um, Japanese, European plays everything perfectly. Um, also, actually, um, a lot of these consoles have used controllers, right? Because they, you know, well are used or well played. Regular, the Mega <laughs> Retron also comes with a uh, new controller. I have not tried it yet, but it's fantastic looking and feeling. It's got the six button. I haven't tried it yet, but it's got a pretty long cord on it. And uh, it seems fantastic. I haven't tried. But I use the, uh, uh, the retro bit uh, controller for this unit, and it's great. So, anyways, guys, uh, if you like what you see, uh, give a like, give a subscribe, uh, you know, show some uh, support, show some love, comment, and uh, thank you for watching. Merry Christmas again, Happy New Year, all the best.